Today, we are learning how to measure a fish. Measuring fish is important not only for your records, but to make sure that you're following state size limits. When we measure fish in Florida, we use either the fork length or the total length of the fish. You can use a device such as a rigid measuring device seen here, which is perfect for measuring fish. If you decide to use something like a tape measure, make sure that you lay that on a flat surface and then measure the fish on top of it. If you lay the measuring tape over the fish, the contour of it will distort your measurement and it will be inaccurate. So let's start with total length. To measure a fish by total length, it will include species such as red drum, sea trout, groupers, and snappers. We'll measure this black sea bass here. We'll lay the fish flat on its side and we wanna measure from the furthest forward tip of the snout all the way to the tip of the compressed tail. And some fish will have to squeeze the tail and pinch it to get the furthest measurement. To measure the fork length of a fish, we'll use it for species such as amberjacks, mackerels, cobia, permit, and pompano. Again, we lay the fish on its side and we wanna measure from the tip of a closed mouth all the way to the center of the fork in the tail. And that is how you measure a fish. If you're not sure whether to use total length or fork length, you can always look in the saltwater fishing regulations and any species that has a diamond listed will be measured by total length. If there's not a diamond present, then you will measure it using fork length. For more information on size limits, you can visit myfwc.com slash fishing.